Ready? Uh, Rob Todd, take one. Take one. <laughs> awesome. Who are we talking to? Where are we? Who, who are you and where are we? I just forgot who I am, dude. <laughs> no. Uh, sorry. Okay, ask again. I'm Rob Todd from Allagash Brewing Company, and we are in Barrel Room Number Two, where we do a lot of our kind of wild, funky, experimental beers. When we first came out with the beer, the public really did not embrace these beers. They're unique beers, they're much different. This beer I'm drinking right now is the Allagash White. And honestly, I used to walk into accounts, pour a sample of this beer, and the first thing they'd say is, why does it look different? Why is it cloudy? And they'd try it. They'd say, why does it smell different? Why does it taste different? What's wrong with it? It was met with a lot of confusion initially. I spent years doing beer dinners where we'd pair uh, different beers from our portfolio with different appetizers and entrees, and I'd have the opportunity between each course to just explain the beer. And uh, now they've really been embraced, and we haven't been able to keep up with the demand for the last seven or eight years. So we're doing a lot of very traditional Belgian-style beers here. It's not very common these days to age beer in oak, but the Belgians have traditionally been aging beer in oak for hundreds of years. So we're really bringing that back here in the U.S. We have a lot of beers aging here with wild yeast, bacteria, fruit, some of the barrels behind me. We actually added fresh raspberries too. Now our distribution is about 90% out of state. We sell a lot of beer in cities like Boston, New York, Chicago, Philly, DC. Los Angeles is actually our biggest market, San Francisco. It all goes out on refrigerated trailers, temperature controlled, so it's refrigerated the whole way. It only takes about three and a half days to get out there, so even in LA, people are getting fresh Allagash. We stuck with it, yep. I can't tell you how many times people used to come up to me in the old days, other brewers, distributors, retailers, and say, geez, why don't you guys brew something more accessible, something more mainstream? And I'd always say, that's not why we got into the business. We got into the business to make these traditional Belgian-style beers, and even if we never end up selling a lot of them, that's what we're gonna stick with doing, and, and I'm glad we did.